Hello and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. I'm not only 25, and here's our colony. We've got David P, Anatinus, and Peon for life. We've got Clark, who's in a paralytic state, and Nat the prisoner, and Nadine the puppy over here. Uh, so things are shaping up. We've got we've got a dining area, we've got a barracks, we've got storage rooms and stuff. We've got power incoming. Uh, what we need to do next is install some sort of uh, temperature control. So we need. The blue bit facing outwards, so we'll just pop these here like this. Do three of them. And if we can get Peon, so you prioritize work on that, then that, then that. That'll go a long way to helping matters. We can actually freeze our meat and stuff then. Oh, Nat's spirit is broken. As a result, he was forced to question everything. Nat's certainty in his belief of Furry Temple has been reduced to 32%. This happened because of poor mood. Final straw was he ate meat. Oh, okay. So that must be part of his belief system that he can't eat meat. But that's great for us, because <laughs> it's as awful as this sounds. We're trying to convert him to our ideal religion anyway. Um, that's just taking a huge chunk of time out of that. And the sooner we do that, the sooner we can, you know, recruit him. There's a break in the power line here. All right, I've just done the exact opposite to what I wanted to do in here. I've just turned this into a sauna. Oh, why did I do that? That's just so many components and stuff wasted. I have to deconstruct these really quickly and build them again and hope I've got enough components. Oh, that was painful. That was painful. Okay, this time, do what I said the first time. Get the blue bit pointing in. Pian, can you just please do these? Just quickly, just quickly do that one before you go. Okay, that's fine for now. And then we'll just wall this bit up and hope that two is enough. Things are degrading in here now because they're considered outdoors. Anatinus, can you just quickly come and knock out these walls? Okay, things are a bit grim right now. <laughs> we got no food. Uh, we got one simple meal. Wow, this is bad. All right, first things first. Target temperature down for these, down to minus 10. I hope that works. Peon, oh. You're gonna have to go hunting again, Peon. No two ways about it. Grab these two, grab that turkey. Uh, yeah, grab them first, because they're the big game and they're going to make a real difference. Uh, work, priorities, peon for life. You go up to a level one for hunting. Uh, that's fine. Drafting and undrafting all should get you doing what we need you doing. There we are. So we're just being told there's an ancient danger over here, which we know about. We'll tackle that at another point. So here we go. There's some meat and there's some cooking being done. Thank goodness for that. I'm thinking, um, because since Peon's too busy kind of hunting right now, we maybe just take Anatinus off that. Get him back up to a number one in construction. Research is just getting completely thrown off the back burner here, but what can you do? All right, what's this? So we've had a transport pod crash. This person's dead in 20 hours. They're a really good miner. Not a lot else. They have a different belief than us, so... Peon, could you maybe capture this person? Oh, hang on. We need, a, we need another prisoner bed. Give me a second. It's really, really not an ideal solution. <laughs> Where did they go? Down here. Oh, perfect. You're right there. Can you capture that person, please? And then... David, if I undraft you like that, will you go... No. David, I'm going to need you to... Prioritize tendon to them really quickly. Yeah, I think they're okay now. They're in mind-shattering pain. Right, understandable. Let's look to convert them as well. Currently, they've got very big beliefs in that, so it's going to take a while, but there we go. Oh, we've got one second left on this quest here. Let's accept it. Anatinus is our social person, isn't it? So, accept that of Anatinus. This person's temporarily joining us because they're getting chased by a hare. Where are you? Draft. Come on, get up here. You just get in here, and I had something else to look at here. Storm's got an infection. Surprise, surprise. The man hunting hairs here. David, could you come and tend to this person? Let's give them the best medicine we have on offer. And David, if you could prioritize tendon to them, and we'll see how that does them. Peon? Oh, you're getting attacked, are you? Come on, shoot it. There you go. And... Kill that thing. It's a tough hair. Peon, you're free to go. How badly did that hair mess you up? No immediate danger. You're fine. 
Oh, and here we go. You get in the shuttle. See you later. Okay, so Anaton, this is now a freeholder. Very good. Okay, and we need to put this one on the back burner because uh, we need a decent throne room for that. Now let's check Storm now. 26% immunity against 90% infection. That's fine. All right, cool. Now, this is a new prisoner room. So what we'll do is we'll change that for prisoners. We will change this for colonists. Let's see what happens. Confirm that. And then, Anatinus, could you take that person to bed? Okay, let's just do that first. Take that person to bed as well. Then we can deconstruct these. There we go. At least the prisoners have their own little room now. Hey, this has finally got something. Is uh, All right, we do need a bit more construction doing, but we also need some hunting doing. We're just going to have to get all the small game on the map, I'm afraid. All the stuff that basically won't hurt us. We won't bother with tortoises or boom rats, but the rest of it, it's a fair game. And then we need to plan a bit of an expansion here. So I'm thinking this middle bit of all the beds, that can actually just be a hallway. That's fine. Do something like this, and then we can go... Okay, so I've changed this to a stockpile zone here, so this will be expanded to a hallway all the way along here. In fact, to get that, we can just deconstruct this. Well, actually, we'll wait, we'll wait. Because we, we don't want to lose the kind of indoor nature of this. These are all going to be bedrooms, and then this is going to be a hallway. This will be a dining recreation area. Then we can maybe build a throne room down here. Got the kitchen area up here, prisoner area here. We're doing okay. The only problem is we haven't got... Oh, we, we planted some potatoes, so that's something at least. Hey, so Nat is now part of our ideal religion. That's brilliant. Okay, so Nat, he's now strong ethics. This prisoner now needs to be recruited. And he's only got 17 resistance. So that'll be all right. Not too much longer, everyone. You'll get out of these awful barracks. Okay, we've got some wild boars we can hunt. That's some good meat right there. Oh, we've got a raid from the Shiv men. Well, this is interesting. They're attacking immediately. This is called somebody called Happy, is it? Let's have a look at the bio. Okay, so they're great at mining. Melee. Oh, that's a bad sign. We're going to have to range this one because he's going to mess us up with that melee skill. Uh, probably not going to survive. Probably not another prisoner, but there we go. So let's get our two shooters. Get them out of here. Oop. All right, stop. You two, just try and get to a point where we've got a bit of cover. Okay. It's not going to work. Okay, yeah, maybe we will need Anatinus, actually. Let's get them around here. Ooh, ooh, you just caught a bad one, actually. Okay, good, good. So maybe we can outrun them a little bit more now. Come on, David, get a move on. Uh-oh. All right, fire. Okay, he's dead. Uh, you can all be undrafted. What's this? Okay, we'll just allow it all. David, how about there? You messed up, my man. Death in eight hours. David, are you gonna... Okay, he's tended to himself. That's something. Probably gonna get an infection. Uh, he's got a scar. A few bruises, nothing too bad. Oh, oh. Let's just see how this plays out, eh? Okay. Are you gonna try and break out? Yes, he is, okay. Anatinus, over here, please. we go. Now you're going to have to capture. And you're going to have to capture. And draft. Have we got anyone else assigned to doctoring? Let's put these in a four, just so they can do it. You've got a doctoring of one. And Peon, you've got medical of three. Okay, Peon then. Who's most likely to die here? No immediate danger for you and that. Your death in 16 hours. Peon, come and tend to this person, will you? Looks like the door got broken. We're out of food, aren't we? Yeah, we're out of food. Oh dear. Well, let's just try and get over this little hemp here. Yeah, they're all starving. How did this get past me? Hey, can anyone else cook? Pee on again to the rescue. Okay, guess what you're doing? David's in the sad days. Come on, pee on. Never mind that. Can you just do some hunting? Okay, he's going to cook something. That's good. All right, pee on, you need to eat desperately. Consume that, please. All right, who else needs to eat? Anderson, David. David. You're on a sad days, you're probably going to die. 
Anatinus, will you just consume that simple meal, please? Okay, now Peon's gone off shooting again, so he's not going to drop dead from starvation. There's something. Anatinus, can you rescue David, please? It's a corpse on the table, so somebody's gone on a corpse obsession without me realising. Okay, David's food stabilised. Anatinus' food stabilised. So is theirs. Nuts, okay. Alright, we just need to get really serious about this hunting and cooking now. More so the hunting right now, so... I want Peon to go back down to a level 2 for cooking. I want him to hunt first. We need a stockpile of meat here, desperately. We'll get past this hump, we will. I think this Clark person's gonna die because we haven't got anything to feed them, basically. The good news is we've got a guinea pig here. <laughs> What's this? Oh dear, okay. It's another prisoner. Problem with this is it's another mouth to feed, but we do need pawns. Let's just stick a sleeping spot in there. Anatinus? Oh, right there, okay. Capture that person, will you? They're death in three hours, so we might want to think about tending them. Okay, good stuff. This person then needs to be converted. They're a kind jogger. Well, that's good. David, what's up with you? We really need you back on cooking. Food poisoning major. Well, that doesn't help, does it? And who's infected now? Tico. Okay, well, so be it. David's in at risk of um, extreme break risk. I'm not surprised. He's got no food. He looks like he's just going to sit down and... David, could you... Oh. He's going to eat a guinea pig just whole like that. Well, <laughs> good on you, David. Sure. Okay, well, that's helped his mood a bit anyway. That's good. So hopefully he can get back to being productive for us now. Uh, I don't think this guy... We'll put him on the best medicine, I guess, but I don't think his uh, infection's going to be... Hmm. His infection's at 37%, his immunity's 29. So there's that. Oh, yes. That's a welcome sight, that big old wild boar there. Where are you going, David? Where are you going with that corpse? Okay, you, you feed him that corpse. You feed that prisoner that corpse. Dangerous food type, eh? No, David, 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 David. Just, can you prioritise butchering first, please? And then this will help so much. Can you then prioritise doing a little bit of cooking? Everything's filthy, there's blood and dirt everywhere. But by goodness, we've got four simple meals. Oh, there we go. Take your revolver back, will you? Things are looking a bit better. Medical emergency, severe illness, Clark. Everyone forgotten about Clark? Extreme starvation, eh? Just feed that poor girl, will you? <laughs> Eight corpse minus 12. <laughs> Things are a little bit desperate. Okay, we've got no food again. Do you know what? We're gonna just take everything apart from the wild boars off, because they're the things that are gonna give us the meat right now. Okay, so Tico has just died, our prisoner we just picked up. Uh, not surprising, that is appalling conditions. We're just feeding them raw corpses, so, you know, that's gonna happen. That's fine. Don't think that's gonna give anyone too much of a debuff, is it? Ravenously hungry. Of course you are. Hungry. Hungry. David. We've been through this before, mate. Butcher first. And then, cook. It's kind of a relief that Tico went, because at least now there's one left mouth to feed. We can't feed the ones we've already got. <laughs> okay, berry bush. Let's harvest them, shall we? 56 of them on the map. Work. Planker. Anatinus, do you want to do some, some of that? Uh, maybe put construction down to a two. We'll just, we'll just make do with what we've got construction-wise at the moment, I think. Okay, I've just queued up a load of berry bushes to be cut by Anatinus here. We just need a couple more pawns to stabilise our workload. Then we can get some research done, get some proper power. It's just, it's really hard at the moment. It's such a tough way to start the game. Of course, a more experienced player would do a better job, but we can only do what we can do. David, where are you? Okay, good. Feeding berries to them, are you? David needs food. Could you just butcher some creatures there, please? Actually, before you do that, could you clean in here and then clean in here and then could you butcher and then could you cook come on just cook this one round of meals then you can go away you can go to bed okay david off you go to bed then it's two simple meals right there that's good all right david i'm afraid you're back to cooking seems like we're out of meat again here's some decent sized animals on the map though yeah we'll take all them well that's 10 simple meals that's the best we've done in a long time but look at that this old fridge <laughs> Fair to say things aren't going the way I thought they would. Uh, Anatinus, could you maybe haul that thing away? 
I can't be doing any good. Is that another corpse? Okay, after you've done that, maybe all that one as well. Oh, there's some good meat right there. David's minor break risk. That's okay. He's getting his recreation up. He'll be okay. He's worked hard. He's been getting our food in order. Things seem to be stabilizing. We'll get people some private bedroom, shall we? So things seem to have stabilized. We've got 16 fine meals. We've got a few Ibex rams in the freezer. We've got some 31 meat stored up. Prisoners are okay. Got these rooms built, ready to kind of uh, be moved into. Uh, we seem to be stabilizing somewhat. The potatoes are growing slowly as well. That'll only help matters. It'd just be nice to get a couple of these pawns recruited just so they can pick up some of the slack here. We can get, you know, like Nat out doing nothing but hunting, for example. Uh, and medicals. That'll free up Anatinus to do nothing but research. Uh, you know, Peon can do nothing but construction. We just, we just like need a couple more pawns. I'd love somebody specializing in planting. But we've got nobody really capable of, other than David. What about cooking? Zero, two, yeah. And that's at 6.3 resistance anyway to being recruited, so could be worse. There's a couple more Ibexes there. We'll take them. Certainly won't be taking that grizzly bear. How long have we got an old Clarky here? 22 days, okay. Uh oh. Alright, everybody. Draft and draft, go and put out that fire. There we go. Well done, everyone. Ooh, look at all this herbal medicine. Well, that's very nice. Just a bit of a clean there. A bit of a spruce up around the place, you know? At least their uh, prison's a little bit nicer now. Anatinus, do you think you could maybe all. 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 Mm. We've had a transport pod crash, another one. So this says that Kenta is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives, he'll be badly wounded. He's not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue him if he joins freely or capture him. It's easier to capture because then you can convert them, you see. Health. Death in 14 hours. Different belief system to us. They're good at mining and construction. I mean, they're only 23. They've got no real health conditions. They'd be a good hire, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, Anatinus, come and capture. Have we got a spare bed? Oh, we've got a spare sleeping spot. That's fine. And this has just been cleaned as well, so that's pretty good. And then, David, could you tend, please? And then we will change them to convert. There we are. Bed is no longer assigned to David P. Oh, that's fine. It's because we're in the process of moving them all. Why is there a sleeping guinea pig in this room? Whatever. Yeah, we've got 25 simple meals in storage, so don't feel too bad about picking up this extra prisoner now. Starvation. Clark. David, when you've done what you're doing, could you be a sport and feed old Clarky there as well? So I think Nadine is now trained to haul, so that's really nice. That'll only help matters. Yeah, look at this. Nadine, good, good dog. Can we um, haul these things, please? They're messing up the place. All right, how are we doing for meat? 75, a little bit there. Have we got any more wildlife on the map? All right, we've had an eclipse. Uh, which sadly means that our crops are going to suffer a bit. But looking at this, I think this is a good place to end the episode, really. We've got the dog who's hauling now. We've got meal stabilised. We've got some prisoners. Very close to kind of getting one of them recruited, which will only help matters. So yeah, if you're enjoying this series, do let me know by leaving a like down below. If you want to see more RimWorld on the channel and you want to see daily content in general on this channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.